AutoTune Pro 11 is here right now. I'm Bradley Denniston. I'm gonna take you through the new features of AutoTune Pro 11, one that I am highly addicted to and can't get enough of, and I'm not gonna waste any of your time. Let's dive right in. Now, before I dive into these brand new features of AutoTune Pro 11, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that sub button. You know what to do. The first thing I want to dive into that's brand new to AutoTune Pro is the Harmony player built right in. This thing is addictive. I cannot get enough of it, and I'm going to show you some instances right away on this. I have a lead vocal here, and I have some ooze that I did. It's like I built a choir with this thing. Broken on the bed. Don't stay. You don't stand a chance against the way to the world. Find a better way to keep your hand off of my mouth. Now, how did I set that up? Uh, I have these ooze. I got one panned left, one right. And on the AutoTune Pro here, I have the trigger turned on and locked. So if you lock these, you can turn them on the trigger and it'll just stay open. If you unlock it, you can trigger it with MIDI, no problem. It's really, really fun. You can play chords, all sorts of stuff. I have it locked so I can just have that triggering all the time. Now with the Harmony engine, you get a bunch of new features. You get four voices, first of all. I have this unison and unison. You can pan them, take them down anywhere. You can go up an octave, down an octave, and everything in between, which is really fun. I took this down a third. Uh, you can format shift. It's just something that's gonna keep you really, really inspired. I don't know. I just really like it. You can sing right through it as well because in AutoTune Pro 11, if you go to this little wheel here, you can go to use low latency mode, which I find to be one of the best low latencies in any plugin. It just sounds great. You're not getting a whole lot of latency, if any, if you're like 64 samples or 128 samples within your DAW. And again, you have a bunch of features here in the Harmony engine. You have naturalize, transition time, pitch variations, timing variations. I also really love the equalizer on here. You can filter out high pass or low pass or band pass. These voices on the Harmony engine, you can have an attack and a release time for those triggers. So that's just one of the brand new features of AutoTune Pro 11. Built-in Harmony engine, play with it, you're gonna Love it, guaranteed. The next new feature is smart MIDI mapping, which is a very welcome addition to AutoTune Pro. You can right click on anything. So if you got a knob like a flex tune or a natural vibrato where you want to change the vibrato of the pitch and automate it while you're actually playing it back and record that automation, all you have to do is right click on anything and go to learn and twist the knob or the fader on your MIDI keyboard and it will learn that CC data. As long as your keyboard's set up to send and receive CC data within your DAW, this is where Working amazing and you can also even map it to a MIDI CC note so if you have like one of those fader ports or something you can just say hey I want this to go to MIDI CC whatever and you can map every single one of these knobs to their own so definitely give that a shot it's a brand new feature and it's really easy to use now for all you graph mode freaks out there that have a little bit of a control problem right <laughs> I have the same problem. I want to control everything, right? Like I want to make sure those notes are right. That sustain and vibrato and that retune speed is perfect. So right as we turn on graph mode here, you're going to get this box and this dialog is really going to help you kind of understand what's going on here. And you can even say, hey, don't show me that again. I've used graph mode many times, but for some of y'all that are brand new to graph mode, this is really helpful to start out. So I'm going to go number one, click pitch and record audio or pitch in time. Okay, cool. So let's go up here and you have this pitch or you have pitch and time. And you can notice like when I click out of that, it says the same dialogue. So I'm just gonna say, don't show again. And now I can click pitch and time or just pitch and I'm not getting that dialogue again. Now I'm gonna hit play on my keyboard and it's gonna record in the pitch of this vocal. You're broken on the bed. Don't stay, you don't stand a chance against the way to the world. Bam, we got captured audio. Now let's talk about the new zoom features we got at the bottom here. There's this little white box around here. And if we go over it, we get this little magnifying glass here. And if I click and drag, I can zoom in on an area, which is really, really nice. And I can also use these handles at the end and the beginning of this white box to zoom in and out. This is a really cool new zoom function here. Uh, you can also notice that a lot of the tools that used to be kind of uh, shortened and hyphenated, now you can see they all are full names. So arrow, range, split, zoom, hands, you have everything that's very, very simple to see. And if you hover over any of these things, it'll tell you exactly what it does in the edit mode. Another thing I wanna show you in graph mode that's really cool and something that I use all the time are key commands. All right, so if I hold down R, the first key command, which is retune speed, and I click and drag up and down, it's 
it's going to change the retune speed of that note. So you can see those lines changing, right? And then we have V, which is vibrato. So if I click hold down V and I click and drag, I'm going to be changing the vibrato. All right, and the last key command is F for format shifting. And all I have to do is hold down F, Again, click and drag up and down on the note and you'll see the format at the top right going up and down. And the graph mode is the best it's ever been with Autotune Pro 11. So tap in with that. Last features are just improvements to the overall look and design of the user interface here. On both the auto mode and the graph mode, this is all updated. Again, you can see all the tools and everything clearly explained and fully labeled. You have the zoom modes, you have zoom states, you have all this right here, these helpful little boxes and stuff where you can just clear pitch selection items, bam, super easy to do, right? If I hit command Z, it undoes it, which is really dope to just have that key command ready to go on the keyboard while you're in the Autotune Pro graph mode. This is gonna help you really fly through your edits. And of course the auto mode, which is, I mean, come on, it's famous by now. If you go to the advanced tab here, you're going to see a lot more advanced features. You're gonna see vibrato and just a ton of different stuff that you can mess with and make sure that your sound is your sound. I hope you guys really dig into Autotune Pro 11 and get a lot out of it. And this overview video really helped you understand what the new features are of this plugin. All right, till next time, y'all. Peace.